one? Another one. And they always get sweeter, baby. Right, always get sweet. sweeter. That's sweet. Great effort. Questions for Coach Reese. Um, I know last year you said that you know you only had a couple of kids back on that defense that were experienced. Can you just talk about the difference today, um, seeing what that defense was able to do and just how different it was from last year? Yeah, um, well, first I think I need to kind of start off, and these guys hit on a little bit. I have um, such amazing assistant coaches, and um, what Laurie Kennis has done with our defense is has just been tremendous. And I think this was probably our best defensive game we've had this season. Um, when you know and understand the firepower that Boston College has. Um, and last year we were, we were really young and we had a lot of, of inexperience there. We grew as the season went on um, and obviously fell short, but that group continued to build as we head into this season. And we are pretty senior heavy back there. Um, but these guys continued to grow and get better as the season went on. And, and like this group said too, I think the key is confidence, is when you're confident in what you're doing, you're prepared for what you're doing, um, you're willing to take chances and risks because you have people playing next to you that will have your back. And again, Laurie Kennis has done a tremendous job with this defensive group, and uh, we've, we've grown again throughout the season to play our best, our best game today. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Kathy, after the game, you, you have your assistants there hugging you have your kids and you have the alumni. Can you just describe the emotion? There's a lot of hugs. I got to give a lot of hugs there. Um, I, again, I'm so thankful for the staff I have. I have my assistants for years. And um, in addition to, to Laurie, we have uh, Caitlin Phipps, too, who's done a tremendous job with us on the offensive end. She played for us and, and graduated in 2010. So um, these guys together, they mean a lot to me. Um, my staff means a lot to me. Our training staff means a lot to me. They, they have been huge in this. Like you said, we were here till one o'clock in the morning on Friday night. And then to turn around and play a game today when it's 100 plus degrees on the turf, our training staff was huge. These guys are phenomenal. They're the best out there. And um, I feel blessed to work around these guys every day. And um, so that's one group of hugs. My children, God, they're just, just, I don't know, loves of my life, you know, and they come bombing on the field and all four of them are huge Turk fans and love lacrosse and love the University of Maryland and, and every year make me proud. Um, God, stop this. Um, alumni, it doesn't get better. Look at the crowd today, 9,500 people or whatever that is. What a group. And just to see the support for the University of Maryland for lacrosse in general, um, for such a great game between two phenomenal teams that's huge, and I was asked a question the other night about women's across and where it's growing and, and how it's gone, and, and look at today, we're showing it. You know, to pack this place, to have almost 10,000 fans there, watching, supporting, and cheering for everybody, and then for us to be Maryland and just, you know, have a great alumni base that we could fuel, we, we fed off of their energy. You know, besides chanting our names half the time, their energy and support for the University of Maryland is powerful, and I think that speaks volumes to the experiences that they've had you know, through their time. And so we needed them. Um, and again, me speaking as an alum too, I'm proud to be a part of that group. Uh, Coach, Boston College kind of uh, got a couple goals back down the stretch and uh, I was looking a bit nervous there. What did you say to the team during those last few minutes? I think the main message was don't let this moment be bigger than you. Um, I think there's a tendency when, when you can feel the pressure you know, and it's it's kind of creeping up on you and it's right there and having been there as a player too is is you have to keep sticking to what we do. You know, keep focused on, on Maryland and executing the next play. We talked about that throughout the season of not getting caught up in what's happened, but worry about the next play. And, and there was a couple timeouts there when I had to bring everybody in because the energy's raging and we're all, you know, the game's not over and we see how fast that offense can score. And, and we needed to make sure that the moment wasn't bigger than us. And let's finish this out. And, and they did that. Kathy, uh, Caroline used a word I was going to use. You've just, I'm pretty sure, bookended the decade with national championships. 
2010 and now 2019, with something sprinkled in between two. What is the Kathy Reese way of success? What is it that you feel, you know, you surround yourself with great coaches, you recruit, but there's something else about this team and this uh, franchise or whatever we want to call it. I don't know. You just crush me with these questions. I, I think I, it's ever, it's. I look at this group, and I haven't. I don't know that I've had more fun coaching a team than I've had this season. Our group genuinely um, was was so passionate, and they believed, and they cared, and they dug deep, and they fought, and we had our ups and downs in our moments, but. One, when you're surrounded by great people, I have a great administration, I have a great support staff, I have a supportive husband and family, I have awesome assistants, I already talked about our training staff, media relations, who else am I missing here? I love, I love my Terps. And I have a great team too, who these guys genuinely love each other, and you could hear it from them. These are three of the best players to play, and they're going to leave their mark on the University of Maryland lacrosse history books for obviously years to come, but coaching these guys who um, believed in each other and themselves has just been truly a joy um, for me this season.